Next morning, we did two coats of slick stick. I'm ready to give this piece a weathered Mediterranean vibe. I'm going to mix one scoop of sea spray per four ounces of paint to give it a textured look. One scoop of sea spray per four ounce of paint. I've mixed my one scoop of sea spray with terracotta and one scoop of sea spray with collard greens. I'm ready to paint my piece and give it some texture. It's later in the day and my sea spray has completely dried. I'm ready to paint the sawmill gravy into the cabinet doors, but the terracotta and the colored greens are still going to peek through. If I said previously that I painted this piece using slick stick, I actually used boss to cover up the aubergine color. So my second coat of sawmill gravy has dried over my terracotta, 
colored greens and sea spray effect. I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but I'm about to show you how cool it can look when I add the best dang wax and brown with the easy peasy spray. Now, both of these products work so good together. They're both water-based, and I'm gonna show you how to highlight your piece using them. So chalk paint is naturally porous, so it just devours whatever you put on top of it. So that's where the easy peasy spray wax comes in. It helps me move around the best dang wax to put it where I want it. I'm gonna use my Dixie Belle Bell brush. It has natural bristles and it's perfect for working with these products. This project has been such a fun journey. It's been a complete makeover. I used white lightning all over to clean, two coats of Boss. Then I mixed the sea spray texture additive into collard greens and terracotta to achieve this really cool weathered look. Then I did two coats of sawmill gravy all over. I used the Best Dane Wax and Brown and Easy Peasy Spray Wax to give me this really cool highlights within. Then I sealed the entire piece using Easy Peasy Spray Wax and I added my beautiful Koi transfers to the top. I absolutely love this piece. Thank you, Dixie Belle.